Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for April and welcome back to the channel my cyber angels um, just a warning uh, but you'll hear that in a minute so listen pay attention please with regards to subscribing and hitting the bell for all the new viewers welcome to this channel please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell there's three options in the bell and choose the option all a double l we're in the new system of youtube so if you do subscribe check it from time to time and come back regularly otherwise your account will be deleted by youtube as youtube um, of course also has to clean up their system otherwise it will be blocking up so it's like cleaning up your computer make sure every time you visit that your status of your bell and subscription is still alive otherwise you will be removed YouTube clears old accounts out so that YouTube creators know that uh, which uh, subscribers are active and that's why uh, you might find that you might not be a member of a certain channel that you do enjoy okay well you've got the information below the video but you've also got information on uh, if you click on this white circle then it will take you to my website and there you can have a scout around what is up to date from time to time and what is new now the first uh, card that you have is calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualization help bring you to come together okay you're calling in your soulmate this might be somebody that um, you have not met yet uh, obviously um, if you and um, this is definitely a card for when you're not hooked up with a partner um, otherwise it wouldn't be lying here but perhaps your soul you feel you are with your soulmate and you are praying that they uh, are going to wake up a wake-up call um, because a soulmate is not only uh, a partner for life but it could also be a best friend but because this is a romance reading I take it that you are calling in um, a soulmate okay with uh, especially when you're not hooked up and if you and that's what I like about the cards and if you are hooked up you are already with your soulmate because that's the if that's the question have I am I with my soulmate the answer is yes because that's the anchor you have from the Lenamon now it also means that you are in coming home to a safe haven or you are already in the safe haven as you've put your anchor down there and you feel safe where you are and steadfastness okay you are feeling home you've also got the nine of swords you might have sleepless nights as that is the nine of swords the nine of um, spades sorry let's have a look yes I'm looking up <coughs> here it says nine and here it says six so uh, it is the six of swords you're moving on from rough waters to quieter waters you might be moving house you might be going on holiday you might be crossing water <coughs> um, and uh, this number eight so you're in your power so 35 is eight is power and money house in the second week you've got passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy allow your heart and soul to sing with joy passion so this uh, relationship that you might be starting um, starts off with passion now if you would like this relationship to grow uh, to <coughs> excuse me for a fully fledged um, relationship and partnership then make sure you sh tell them what your boundaries are and find out what their boundaries are you've got the six of wands the six of clover and clover is the six of wands you've got a bridge perhaps you're trying to over gap um, or bring together a bridge brings people together that's how I would read it in the romance reading 
now you've got number 36 um, uh, of the card so that's a nine something is coming to an end so it looks to me as if you are succeeding by bringing yourself and your loved one together for a fully fledged relationship you're over bridging something you're, you're crossing a bridge perhaps you're scared to uh, uh, to make this a fully fledged relationship if you are not hooked up this reading seems more like a new beginning a new romance <coughs> and trying to uh, wish for a new romance I think you'll succeed because you're going from rough waters to quieter waters you might be crossing water and here we've got water the anchor so you might be going on holiday or moving home to be near your new love there is definitely chemistry in the third week the second week there is passion and passion like I said it doesn't last long but there's definitely more than passion here there's also chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here okay and you've got the bear Ooh, and this means you can stand your ground in especially in a new beginning because you've got 36 so that's nine an ending and you've got uh, uh, the six of spades this um, the six of sp uh, sorry not six of spades the six of clover so that means you you've got victory it also means moving home it mo means traveling it also means a public recognition the six of wands you've got two sixes here so you've got moving away from uh, difficult times the six of spades and the six of one uh, wands and six of clover so you're moving away and somebody is really jealous again you've got I think it is a six yes it's 15 again you've got a six so you've got a three numbered figure here six 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 it is the n number of the devil but it's also an angel number because it is a three figured number or a doubled number here it's double this is an extra so you can stand your ground especially with the three sixes I've never had this before Gemini so watch out for somebody uh, that is evil for negative energy so watch out you've got the ten of clover so that means you've been through hard times look you've got the ten of clover I don't know whether you can see it but the bear means that you can stand your ground you protect everything that's dear to you or that you're passionate about you are strong and nobody will move you or can move you because you are dangerous you've got big claws you're tall you're powerful you're strong nobody can shove you okay so don't worry there is a new beginning an ending and a new beginning it's lying next to the nine and a nine here uh, sorry the nine here 36 and so you're going from nine to ten so you're moving forward and upward to a new beginning and definitely these cards are complementing because this is a 9 and this is a 10 okay you've got the th uh, you've got uh, the number 8 here so you are in your strength like I said and wow we're going to the next card and the next card is release your ex that could be the jealous person you cannot move on to a new relationship if you do not release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so you can let the new passion love uh, exciting new beginning chemistry the magnetic attraction let it work so it could be a woman that was your ex or it could be a man that is a nurturing nature or a nurturing character aside because we've all got the masculine and the feminine so that's why you can see that the cards don't really have to mean the male or the female if it is a female okay it could be a man uh, with a na nurturing nature that's loving and passionate because that's what the woman stands for or it could be a woman if you're a man or even if you're a woman it could be a woman if you choose to love a woman and you've broken up then let go you've got the ace of swords victory definitely and it also means clarity honesty be honest to yourself be loving and nurturing to yourself and let your ex go 
and move on. I know it's difficult and it's easy to say, but take better care of yourself. So, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. That makes my voice also very deep. <laughs> I don't like it. And the overall energy is the moon. You've got the eight of hearts, the eight of cups. You, usually in the tarot, it is like somebody's turned their back on the past and wants an exciting new beginning and adventure. So you are on your journey to the new. Okay, definitely. It is saying beginning, beginning, ending and beginning and you're moving away from troubled water and you're moving on to new love. You've got the moon so you might be more emotional especially uh, with this woman here. Like I said she's a uh, passion, love, nurturing and women are more emotional than men so perhaps with the card moon the overall energy is that your emotions, your intuitiveness or your spirituality might be heightened and more sensitive. Have faith, okay? You might need more information with regards to a question or a situation because the moon is also called the dark side and it's also showing light on your path to the northern note so follow that path because that is the right path, you're on the right path and not only that, you might be meeting a Pisces you actually might be meeting a Pisces you are in the spotlight moon, the stars and the sun is our spotlights, so something is being illuminated and the spotlights, so you are in the spotlight definitely and again when there's something is being illuminated like the dark side of the moon so this is double up um, make sure that you get more information before you take the next step okay Gemini and from the answer of the angels you have yes now I if you believe me and I'm a Gemini I do not sort out the cards because even when I see negative cards and I feel I want to change it I don't because otherwise it wouldn't be fair to all the others or to us to have a wrong and a, a, a not a, a proper reading you have number 13 air fly free sorry the doorbell went so this is the Archangel Metatron and fly free it's air and we are the element of air so we need to be free we need to feel the wind in our hair so try to go outside and sit down in a park if you can and there's nobody else on the bench of course and this time in with uh, the fire is going on sit down and just enjoy the wind passing you by and then I get an idea angel wing so it might feel like an angel's passing because it might be a gentle breeze but number 13 becomes number 4 so stability is coming your way and 13 is also fellowship, friendship <coughs> in the I Ching, the yin and the yang if you don't know what yin and yang is or the I Ching then have a look on Google and you've got a healing card Gemini this time you've got self energy sever energetic cords that means to say protect yourself close your solar plex uh, and your um, uh, what you call it uh, emotional chakra uh, so that nobody can pull the power and the energy away from you Archangel Michael delivers powerful healing to sever energetic cords of attachment and rebalance your energy fields Wow and it says let go of your ex so that's a big message for you this week Gemini so if you want to have a new love 
then sever the cord with the X. L don't let the X dominate your life. Let it go. I know you s might still love them or even hate them or dislike them because hate is a big word but I know what it means when you're going through a separation or a divorce so let go uh, you know I know it's very difficult the best thing that you can practice in the, your contemplation or meditation is send out love to those and to those people that have done you wrong or made you feel the way you feel now sad or angry alone dismayed left out send them love and the universe and the angels will take care remember karma and what goes round comes round and they'll get it back in threefold and so will you so send out love and you'll get it back threefold look at this you've got three cards mentioning love passion magnetic attraction so you've got your threefold if you want it then be positive and stay positive stay in your strength this is your strength card okay the ending is here and the new beginning is also here the ending and the new if something ends something new can begin or will begin from an ending has to be also a new beginning so sever the cords with the past okay I hope you have enjoyed this reading take care and be beautiful and stay strong in this time and remember you're not alone you are in the spotlight so be careful what you do because there's somebody's got an eye on you it could be a new boyfriend or girlfriend ciao ciao and be blessed. Give us the likes and please share with friends and family.